The answer is now. Hi. It's been a long time. I think the last time I made a video was like about a month ago. Time just fly by. So today I'm thinking of making a Q&A video. I know I said it, I'm not gonna make it on Twitter, but then afterwards I got some uh, good questions from a um, Instagram. So I'm gonna make a Q&A video. But before that, I just wanna give you a shout out to George who sent my students these awesome books. Thank you so much. All right. Now we're gonna get into a Q&A. I think this is kind of like very typical answer, but uh, I like the nature, I like the mountains, I like the city, and I like the ocean. I like the fact that a city and those like a very countryside is like, close together, so I can basically drive everywhere within like 30 minutes. Also, living cost is very cheap, like rent, uh, food, um, what else? Education. Anything around here is maybe half the price of Tokyo. Oh, and then the other thing, like I know like I've been running the uh, Support Ehime campaign, uh, but I live in Matsuyama and those uh, rain, uh, heavy rain and floods and landslides, those like disaster happen in southern part of Ehime. So I wasn't actually uh, like directly uh, affected by that. So, and then we have tons of typhoons in Japan, right? But none of the typhoon actually hit Matsuyama area. So I guess it's not, this is not like Ehime, but it's more like Matsuyama area um, is very safe. The climate is um, moderate. Uh, we don't really have like heavy snow or anything like that. So yeah, weather-wise, uh, convenience-wise, and price-wise, um, yeah, this is the best place. First of all, I'm glad to hear that you were uh, here in Ehime. And to answer a question, I don't know. Um, I don't think we experience rapid change like you feel in Tokyo. Like Tokyo is very competitive district. So like one time you find your favorite restaurant and the next time you visit, it's gone. Something like that. It happens very quick. But I don't think that's the case in Matsuyama. So like if you haven't been to Matsuyama for like the last five, six years, then maybe you see some changes. Ehime is located in southern part of Japan. So the temperature wise, I would say it doesn't really hit below zero maybe some mornings but as far as like negative three or something like that so it's not bad at all it's not bad so like when i was in missouri that was my first snow experience i don't know if you guys realize but i'm not really an outdoor person i don't do sports but when i visited beshi copper mine that was how many years ago? Two, three years ago? Uh, the autumn leaves are very gorgeous over there. I'm taking a look at a few famous places for autumn foliage. Well, I would say from the beginning of October till the end of November, it depends on the places. For example, if you want to visit Mount Isuzuchi in fall, then you should visit in October. But other places, the best time to see those autumn leaves is like literally right now in November. A few places that you can go is one, uh, Matsuyama Castle. Uh, where else? Uh, there are a few places in Imabari City. Uh, you can go to Uwajima and uh, you can go to Beshi Copper Mine, as I said earlier. You can go to Mount Isizuchi and there are some parks in Ozu too. Surprisingly, I have only been to America. I definitely want to visit my whole sister. Uh, she is from Austria, so like, but she's living in Italy, I think, right now. She has been like asking me if I can come to visit her. 
and she has visited me like two or three times and I have never visited her so I want to go there actually Jasmine and I are planning on going to Canada sometime Vancouver side she's from Vancouver area um, that might happen in the next three years so it's not gonna happen like right away but I am definitely planning on that I would say definitely moving to America was harder like especially for the first time I have I hadn't never been to Tokyo either so my like literally first trip out of my city was America I like living in Japan I like living in America so both times like before leaving I was like super excited I not a big fan of like 13 hour flight but eh, c'est la vie like you gotta deal with it you know yes I'm sorry I haven't been around much I haven't been online <laughs> much lately I guess I had to uh, prepare for Halloween party actually three separate Halloween parties it's crazy right also I had a couple of meetings uh, right now I'm trying to make my original textbook workbooks and other study materials for my students and also the Canada trip that I mentioned that might happen in the next like two three years is not my like vacation trip it's more like business trip so I have been meeting up with the uh, travel agency so yeah I guess that's it yeah so that's what I have been doing actually because of all the craziness I haven't really been anywhere interesting I wanted to go back to the states like last year but yeah it just didn't happen uh... <laughs> see that's what happens when you're self-employed you're basically working 24 7 even though you are not in your office your mind is kind of like working right I sometimes do work in my dream it works it actually works give me some ideas and stuff so it helps but okay and like, I'm just like listing all excuses might sound a little crazy but my favorite part of the day is working like it doesn't really matter what I'm working on like I like teaching like I like the part of my day that I'm teaching and interacting with kids I like preparing for those classes so anything related to my work I enjoy the most I think I should answer that question like I've had that same question a couple of times I guess and so I have one dog and four cats my whole family loves animals basically so that's why we have like tons of pets okay I'm not good at singing I never ever sing in front of other people uh, when I was in high school I was singing basically like of course with my close friends only though but I was singing any popular pop songs in the states yeah I haven't gone to karaoke for forever okay I don't know if I should answer this question in Japanese or English but uh, I'm sorry I don't know the game I don't play games at all when you say Nintendo characters only thing that pop in my head is Mario <laughs> and that's it so yeah if there are any cute characters please let me know um that's a good question yes I do want a family in the future at some point and obviously I like kids otherwise I wouldn't be working with kids um, but because I talk with a lot of parents and I know their struggles and some people have full-time job and then they have a few kids so they have to raise their kids it's just whole work-life balance thing might be a little difficult in my situation right now my work is my life I don't want to throw everything away just because I have to get married or just because I have kids if I can't take care of my kids then why would I have kids 
from the first place. So yeah, <laughs> so yeah, it, it became like very serious tone. But honestly, I never really like thought of like, oh, when I want to get married or like when I want to have children. Like right now, like this is my life. So I'm focusing on my career. And when things are right, I might have family, I might not. And that's something I can't plan ahead. So yeah, on that note, I don't know what kind of note. But I guess that's every question that I got from you guys. And if you have any further questions, do not hesitate to leave them down in the comment section. And... I can't promise when I'm going to upload the next video, but I'll try. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs>